Leslie, it's a very warm welcome. You've been with Regent since midweek last week. You met the boys in London, had the Saracens game. How are you settling in? Um, I'm settling quite great. Um, as you said, I met the boys in London, so I had quite a few few more d- few days to settle in with the boys and try to get to meet everyone. The first things first is, you know, you, you've had a busy summer of international rugby, but you missed the last test match where there may be a clinched qualification for the World Cup. Just reassure us, so you've got a slight hamstring problem, there's nothing serious, you'll be up and running before long. Yeah, it wasn't any tear, luckily it wasn't any tear, so I just had a slight pull in Miami, and unfortunately I missed the final game and flew over here straight after it. When can we expect to see you any? You you've obviously got to know Chris Towers since you've yeah. been here. When's he telling you you can expect to be up and running for well, you? Hopefully in a few more days. Yeah, we're looking forward to next week. So as you said, I had a busy season last year and this year as well. So we am, I'm having quite a rest and then next week I might be into it. We were talking before we started about your experiences with Welshman. Obviously playing back home in Namibia, you got to know a certain Lynn Jones. Obviously plays yeah. with you as well and... Yeah. and Phil Davis as well, so you've got quite a, an understanding of the Welsh mentality already. Yeah, um, I've, had a, I've met a variety of Welshmen because I've worked with Lynn Jones, Clive Griffiths and Phil Davies, Phil Davies obviously. So I've, I've kind of gotten used to the Welsh accent, it's just that the boys are a little bit different so I have to be careful, I have to listen carefully when we're a bunch of boys chatting and just to be sure what they're saying. You've been in the UK a while now, you're in Doncaster, you arrived there last December. Very similar to Swansea in terms of it rains a lot, but uh, you, you're, you're seeing the best of it in the sunshine at the moment. You know, How did you settle in Doncaster and how did you find that standard where you're, you're obviously scoring tries and winning Man of the Match awards quite early on there? Um, well, Donny was obviously something different. I've played the rest of my rugby back home in Namibia and South Africa, so moving over to Donny was a little bit different. The rugby's a lot a little bit more physical it's the intensity is way higher while back home we run a little we run a lot more and i saw a few games over here so it's more or less the same so i'm stoked and i'm looking forward to it can't wait to get into it when you agreed to come to the ospreys did you know much about the ospreys at that point was it a case of asking the welsh men that you knew for a bit of background uh, and what what do you know about us um, well, I didn't know much about Ospreys, to be honest. Um, it was my second game into the English Championship and my agent called me and he told me about the Ospreys offer, so I took it with both hands and I said I'm excited. I can't wait to come over here. And After that, I read a lot about the club and I came I came over here, in, I think, in April. So I met Clarkie, I met Chris, I met Alex and they informed me or they informed me a lot about the club, the history about the club, that they really want to restore the pride back into the club and what it was before. The team won a lot of titles, if I can recall, um, Pro 14 titles. So I was interested, they got me hyped and I'm actually looking forward to it. When we announced the sign-in, we put a, a show reel online and our supporters really impressed, they liked it, they, they thought there was a bit, a bit of excitement at what you could bring to the team this season when, when you're up and running, you know. For those who haven't seen it, what do you think that, what would you say you're going to bring to, to the environment? Um, <laughs> according to me, I believe I'm a very exciting player, you know, I love having the ball in my hand, but I also love defending, you know, it's, it's, it's a demanding part of the game and I like it. So, just for the fans, I can't wait to get out there and hopefully play my best rugby and give my best for the side. And a couple of the fans who saw you up in London when you were watching the game, I think they were surprised by the size of you. I don't think they were expecting. We know we've got George North as a bulky winger, but perhaps they were thinking you wouldn't have been of that kind, but you are. You've got that physicality, which which will hopefully help make an impression. No, it's a fortunate part of us Africans. We have quite decent genes, and I'm one of the lucky boys. So once you work hard, it's double effort, and you obviously pull the fruits from it. Yeah.